Hey guys, it's Jimmy here with Trailer Valet. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a little bit more about our XL mount bracket, when it's good to use and when it's not really good to use. So the XL mount bracket, as you can see, it's mounted on the tongue of the trailer. And one thing to always keep in mind with your mount bracket, you can control your tongue weight. The closer you move your mount bracket to your boat or travel trailer, the more the tongue weight increases. One thing to always consider before ever purchasing our XL mount bracket is the tongue weight of your trailer. Your tongue weight is completely based on the front weight of your trailer. And one thing that is really good about the XL mount bracket is for you guys out there who may have boat trailers or something like that, when you move your mount bracket closer to the boat, you are, you are increasing your tongue weight, which is in turn a very good thing for the units. Once you increase the weight on the unit, you improve the traction for moving your trailer. When unboxing your XL mount bracket, you will see your XL mount bracket, the back plates for the mount bracket, your four mounting bolts, your stow pin, and the bridge between the unit and the mount bracket, which connects the two. So when installing your XL mount bracket, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench and a 16 millimeter socket. So before you actually install your XL mount bracket onto the frame of your trailer, I like to pre-assemble it a little bit just to make it a little easier to install. So I put the top bolts on first, like so. And once you have the two uh, mount bracket bolts installed on the top of your mount bracket, now you can go ahead and lower it onto the frame of your trailer. Once you have it on the frame, you grab your other two mount bracket bolts, slot it in your closest hole to the frame. Secure the nut on the other side. Then again with the other bolt. Once your fourth bolt is slotted through, again, secure it with the nut on the other side. Then using your tools, once your mount bracket is installed on the frame of your trailer. You can go ahead and install. Now you can go ahead and install your stow pin and the security pin. When mounting your mount bracket, keep in mind you do need eight inches of space on the tongue of your trailer. So the preferred method for mounting your mount bracket is in the lower position for the mount side. But if you do have the bigger trailers with the bigger tires on it and your frame is a little bit higher than average, you can flip the mount bracket around giving you the higher uh, height for the taller trailers. Now it is not recommended, but you can do it in order to use our unit as a jack to possibly hold your trailer up or anything like that. But keep in mind, when you have to flip it, you do have to extend your jack more, which in turn loses the stability. And for you guys out there who have uh, the more unique trailers out there. Unfortunately, our XL mount bracket will not securely fit to any rounded frame, C-beam, or anything that is not a square frame on the 
A-frame of the trailer. We don't recommend it as it will not securely fit to the frame of the trailer. So just for safety reasons, we do not recommend using our XL mount bracket on those type of frames. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, contact us at support at trailervalet.com.